Second and 10 for Mahomes at his own 25 now. Going to throw a slant, caught, 35-yard line, juke move, Tyree Kill, 45, 50-yard line, cuts it back, look out, 40, 35, 30, Cheetah at full speed, 10 to the 5-yard line. If you play impress, the Cheetah will run you all the way around the earth. That was one of several big plays for the Chiefs that led to a victory over Buffalo in last season's AFC title game. And now a year later, and with a trip to this season's conference championship game on the line, we're getting another edition of one of the top young rivalries in the NFL. Hey everybody, and welcome into our game preview this week, presented by Crown Royal. My name is Matt McMullen, and this week we're joined by Tracy Wolfson from CBS Sports. She'll be on the sidelines for Sunday's game. Tracy, how's it going? It's going great. How are you, Matt? I'm doing great. I'm excited. And I don't think it's just Kansas City. I don't think it's just Buffalo. I think it's the whole football watching world that can't wait uh, for this game here on Sunday. And we'll start with the Buffalo offense here and Josh Allen because they were so great last week against the New England Patriots. Allen had just a great year, both with his arm and with his legs. This guy broke 37 tackles this season as a rusher. It was the most of any non-running back in the NFL this season. For the Chiefs defense, that's been so good since week eight, actually the top scoring defense in the NFL since week eight. How can they slow down Allen and this Buffalo offense on Sunday night? Yeah, certainly going to be a challenge. And you mentioned Josh Allen, and I think his legs are going to be a big part of this game. His mobility, we saw it last week. We've been seeing it over the last few weeks. So containing that, keeping him in the pocket is going to be huge. Putting the pressure on him, uh, forcing him to get the ball out quickly, um, and then giving the opportunity for uh, Tyron Matthew and then your corners to get some some interceptions and force some turnovers. I think that's going to be key. I mean, we all know that the best way to uh, win a game is to put the ball in Patrick Mahomes' hands when it comes to the Chiefs. And so I think that's going to be key, containing um, Josh Allen, forcing him to get the ball out quickly and just making sure he doesn't use his mobility and get out of the pocket. Yeah, this Buffalo offense, of course, had success against the Chiefs back in Week 5. The good news, though, for the Chiefs is this defense is radically different from what the Bills saw back in Week 5. Guys like Chris Jones and Traverius Ward didn't play in that game. Uh, Melvin Ingram was a Pittsburgh Steeler when that game took place. And, of course, he's been a big part of the defensive turnaround for the Chiefs. And several guys really weren't hitting their stride yet at that point. But this defense is playing great football. They're great last week against Pittsburgh. Hopefully they can keep this going here against Josh Allen. Now, you mentioned Patrick Mahomes. He was awesome last week against the Steelers. After TJ Watt's defensive score in that game, he completed 24 of 27 passes for 359 yards and five touchdowns. Pretty good when you have more touchdown passes than incompletions uh, in a game. How can he keep that going here against this Buffalo defense, which has been the top defense in the NFL in terms of scoring uh, overall this season? I really like the Chiefs when they become balanced, when they utilize their run game that they have, and whether it's with Clyde Edwards-Zelaire, whether it's with Darrell Williams, whether it's with McKinnon, as we saw last week, and they just keep them more off balance. And it doesn't mean you're going to just pound the rock and establish and run all over. It just means you're going to use them in different ways and establish the threat of the run. And then, of course, we all know the offensive threats in Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey, but the other guys that step up, step up around them, whether it's a Byron Pringle or whether it's a Hardman. And so if you can be more balanced and, and allow, you know, protect uh, Patrick Mahomes, which has been huge, this offensive line we saw in the beginning of the season, they were touted to be, by the end of the year, the best offensive line in football. And they're starting to do that each week. And I think that's where we've seen this offense really thrive. I think at the beginning of the season, we saw a bunch of hiccups some turnovers, very uncharacteristic. They were really just figuring out what they had out there and now I think they're clicking on all cylinders so protecting Patrick Mahomes certainly for him he always says he needs to get the ball out quickly he needs to make whether it's his first read then his second read but also keeping that balance and utilizing those backs and getting you know the ball to other guys when certainly Kelsey and Tyreek Hill are, are covered. Yeah, this is the time of year you want to be playing your best football and playing with confidence. And we're seeing that from both teams right now coming off huge wins in the wild card round. And everything really at stake here for both of these teams trying to get to the AFC title game. And for the Chiefs, if they can win this one, it would be a fourth straight trip to the AFC title game. Really like the sound of that. Let's keep that going here uh, against the Bills. I know you do, Matt. I know you do. I can't wait. It is going to be an incredible matchup. And I think this is really a rivalry that's just starting and it's going to be so much fun. Yeah, it really is. Tracy, awesome stuff. Really appreciate your time as always. You got it.